to uh, thank you for coming tonight. I know it's a makeup meeting, and we're going to be back here before you know it for our October meeting. Um, I'd like to report that we're currently fully leased up as of September 1. Uh, one caveat, as sort of members know, that being a, that a week ago we had a fire out in uh, Building 1, Unit 11, and uh, the fire engulfed the kitchen. It was contained for the most part to that room. It did get into the walls, uh, the, the kitchen wall, back wall towards the bathroom, and got up into the vents and accelerated up. So we had some damage in the walls and the ceiling and the vent. Um, I mean, the fire was actually blowing out of the roof. So at first, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Um, we were able to contain it, though. I immediately notified uh, DHCD, the insurance company, about the loss. Wheels were in motion to get an adjuster and a contract already. Um, that's my hope that we can turn it around in 30 days. I mean, the program and the department you know, has an expectation that maybe 90 days. But uh, given the scope and the plan of attack that we hope to put in there, we hope to do that. Where's the resident in the hotel? Yeah, the resident is currently housed at a hotel. Um, hopefully, insurance assists with that and we get them out of there timely enough that it doesn't come out of our operating uh, capital. But um, yeah, he's uh, nearby, about two or three towns away. But uh, seems to be in good spirits. You know, it's a shock to everybody's system, people that live there. Um, you know, we have heightened some awareness and we're again talking in the office about. Conducting, and this is we've had this discussion prior to, but to do a uh, you know fire drill, and a, uh, I actually had a meeting this morning impromptu, and I saw the police chief as well. But there's going to be uh, never anyway, but in light of this, especially so, to have uh, you know for for all kinds of reasons, there's all kinds of health and safety issues, you know, predator type things out there that people need to be aware of for law enforcement and everything. So um, you know, a lot of good will come from it. You know. what, uh, what caused the fire? We know Did that it originated in the kitchen and at or around the stove. And when I got in there, it was against the whole wall, the stove and the countertop. So I, I couldn't tell, you know, not in, not in an instant. And I don't know if we'll get another report or anything from insurance or from fire, but um, you know, the, the resident wasn't home. He had left uh, a little while, a couple hours maybe earlier. Um, he left his stuff a while ago. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Could have been anything. Could be, you know, yeah. different things become accelerants. Even yeah. now, those same some phones yeah, that's right. left on a charger, and, you know, yeah. there are all kinds of things to be concerned about. Um, also, tonight we have uh, the August warrants, the payrolls, bills, the August financial report to approve tonight. Um, at our last meeting, we voted to approve the year-end financial statement for all programs. Uh, we received nearly $18,000 in uh, reimbursement, in reimbursement money for an emergency heating project that we had to do. Um, we initially paid for that project, not expecting any reimbursement. The initial reaction by the department was that uh, they would not be funding it. Um, but as a result of getting it, we need to revise the financial statement to reflect the uh, additional revenue we received, as we should, and as we're required to. Um, in working with HUD, uh, HUD Boston, that's our, our regional field office, on a number of projects, uh, one of the things that came up was they urged us that in a Section 8 department, where Section 8 payments are administered you know, among the duties they pay out to landlords uh, monthly. The majority of those checks are, actually, I shouldn't say majority for those checks, but a good amount of those checks are automatically done. Uh, the direct deposit, computer, bank to the bank generated. The others are the handwritten, which you know, the board is familiar with having to sign so many checks. Um, the HUD rep asked why only part of it was being done, if the manual part was being done by the coordinator and not the direct deposit part, and urged us that we should have the coordinator doing 100% of that. So 
later in the agenda. Well, it was, and, and it's probably not unusual, but it was just done in the financial department. So the half run, the check run, the manual part of it, which is generated in our uh, public housing management system, mm -hmm. those checks were being loaded into the tray and then just being clicked and printed by the coordinator. But the bank to bank stuff was done more on the finance side and not by that coordinator. Okay. So, um, let me see. Also, um, tonight, HUD has issued their final fiscal year uh, 2017 fair market rents. Um, and that's on the agenda for us with our time. And fair market rents are, you know, HUD annually estimates for 500 metropolitan areas and um, 2,000 non metropolitan or maybe suburban rural areas a fair market rent. And that's the standard by which we're able to estimate fair market rents when calculating a half payment to a landlord. This would be for our MRVP or HCD or Section 8 program. And it's also useful for other reasons, but we're required by law to adopt those. Um, also, discussed in our August meeting, the HCD increased our uh, funding to the Capital Improvement Work Plan an additional $182,000. I think I received it at the day of our August meeting, so I was able to just mention it to the board, but that's on the agenda tonight. We need to uh, approve that and sign the necessary documents to send it back. It increases the, the uh, funding award up to about $1.3 million, and it also expands the dates out to 2019, from 2018 to 2019. That's all good. I mean, considering we're at a time and age where it, people are lucky to have level funded uh, year over year and not necessarily getting cut, we're going to do the same more with less money. Lastly, DHCD came out last week. We did an on site at Mayflower Court. One of the capital improvement projects is to do new roofs. Uh, recently, we've, we've done new roofs over here. Um, at Kill Commons, we have it slated for Mayflower Court. They asked us if there was a chance that we thought or we felt we could get it done this year before the snow flies. I think it's, you know, sort of a big request, but I think we can do it, and I'd rather like to get it done, especially before the snow flies. Um, having said that, in the time involved trying to procure a project and get it out the door, You'll see in the agenda tonight, um, they, uh, John Jubilo, the department architect, asked that the design component and the uh, specifications the administrative uh, part be managed by Rick Mahoney if he could do it. So we have that tonight. Um, all in all, you know, continue to march along, doing great things, and on a day-to-day -day basis, everything seems uh, to be going very, very well. So we have on the finance, August Mars payrolls, bills, and financials. We have a motion to approve them. Both these, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm going to try to, it, when you see in the packet the warrant reports, mm -hmm. they, I print on both sides. So not the, because it's really, it gets to be a lot of paper times by packets. Um, but they are sequential. So. I just have a couple questions on the warrants. Okay. One of them is kind of a two-part question. Um, the first one being all the bananas charges for the work hoops and laces and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I guess the second part, which is kind of old business, is the personnel policy. I know the personnel policy still states that they're supposed to be getting an allowance every year, but that was never changed. So. That's one of the things that we want to go over. Um, right. The board at last year. Um, <laughs> allowed the administrative office to manage the allocation of that um, that stipend, I guess, the $500 for clothing, so that the money was used for necessary purposes and we thought it was good business and the board voted and we managed that. We've done it, we've carried it over to this year. Um, so the bananas charges are, you know, part of that. 
I just think we should definitely concentrate. I was actually I disappointed disagree. that there wasn't any policy stuff on the agenda because I know we've been talking about it for like more months. So yeah. I think we should really start to, we need to put that, put that on it. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, yeah. I'd like the you know, that, that's excellent. Can the board give me an indication like how it wants, how does it want to I've already read the whole thing. Yeah. So yeah, everybody's I think familiar with that. I think that, I really. just want to start at page one and ask if anybody has any more questions, right. comments, or amendments to page one and then just move forward. Well, Very good. Page by page, or I think didn't we say that the last meeting well, we we'll addressed page by page and then, because um, okay. I took a look at it, then I was going to actually compare it to Quincy's and see if there are sections we may not have addressed at all. Mm -hmm. But we can do that later. I think we want to at least get what's in the policy, so. Um, it's correct with it's, what we're doing. Right, because I still don't understand the and I have Hours. <laughs> yeah, on how you calculate part time, time and employee time. sick times. So I definitely want to see. I, I want to see how that's calculated in theory with whatever the policy is. And I don't know why with me because I know we're discussing that too. But um, once I know how that works in theory, then we can reword it. Right. So it's a little because I couldn't figure it out yeah, last time. I got to go. in October to actually let's let's do that. Dedicate to October what? unless there's other emergency business we need to. Or even just put put it on the agenda every month. Yeah, until we finish it. Until we finish. It. Let's just put it on. Whether we, we, we might have finish a, it and or at least do a good full first draft. If we have yeah. a long agenda, then we'll you know we can work on a few things, and if we have a short one, maybe we'll kind of run through right. more. At least if it's on there every month, we can kind of. Yeah. So even though the policy states that the guys, each one of the maintenance employees receives a check every year for their clothing allowance, I think it's called. They're not receiving a clothing allowance in addition to us paying for no, their clothing. So that's right. Okay. That's right. So we just have yep. to update the personnel policy, policy as, mm -hmm. as it pertains to... Excellent. Policy. I think that's a great idea. Right. We'll just put it on there and just stop. Yeah. <laughs> We may get through quite a bit of it, you know, uh, it, but it is an awful lot when you start reading it. You get tricked up in the own in the definition. You know, you've seen it probably a hundred times. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, oh. I guess that was it. Okay, so if there are uh, any more questions, we can ask for a motion to approve the August one's payroll bills. Oh, I'll make that motion. Yes, second. Second. All those in favor. Aye. On to old business. Okay, uh, old business, you know, I think of one big part of it is the personnel. We're going to hit that and we have a direction for that. Um, Capital improvement plans, they, you know, they are fluid. We take our best shot for a three year, five year, but as uh, as things um, jump up, whether it's a fire in the unit or a boiler that goes down, we need to address those, create another project for them. But uh, there's nothing on the horizon just yet. So, um, um, under old business. Is there anybody, has anybody contacted you or sent any correspondence from the state about the audit? Was that in June or July? Um, no, no, there hasn't been any correspondence. The, uh, we want to add. We want to, do we, do we, do we mean, want to, at least at this point, contact them saying, look, it, you had a months now. Yeah, I can, I can inquire. Um, I do know that, uh, you know, the staff, the department has had a lot of, They've had a lot Personnel of changes, changes. And they came out with new draft rights, and I went to that public hearing today. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was entertaining, to say the least. But, yeah, but I would like to know if if yep. they found any issues. I mean, they made a big deal of it, and yeah, let us enter yeah. into the contract with Duxbury, and here we are again waiting. They came out when? March or April, and it, it's June, August June, now? It was June or June. Uh, it was it wasn't July, no. It was June. It was June, it was June, it was June. It was June no. All right, June. So it's been two, three, all going on four months, and nothing. How critical could it have been? Uh, so I uh, yeah, would yeah. like to. Who is the manager? Myrna. 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 Um, there was that, and then I think 
in May, it was brought up um, about the Halifax management contract, the fact that there was never a maintenance employee hired for Halifax, and you said you In May? Yeah, in May. In May, no, in May. It was either May or June. I brought it up. It was, there was never a maintenance personnel hired over there, and I mentioned maybe we should start charging since we're using extra time. Oh, we do. Our, we get reimbursed. So we're charging them in addition to the management contract we're yeah. getting. We get we're reimbursed. We're billing them for maintenance oh, absolutely. services. How yeah. much is that every month? Oh, um, I can tell you annually it's about $16,000. Just for the maintenance employee? Just for maintenance. So it's that in addition to? Yeah. So that started after May? Because I know when I brought it up in May, you would say that we weren't charging them. And I said, no, we, we had said, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, we had a charge. What we had done is we tracked the hours for the whole year, mm -hmm. and, uh, and but we had always booked it, and we had not um, we had not billed for it. But annually, it's about fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. At least that's what I can tell you. The last fiscal year was. So we sent them a bill and they paid the bill. Oh yeah. So, it's, yeah. so we billed them. Yeah, we booked it. They booked it too. So Halifax, you know, that's their own uh, authority business. But but it's always been booked and, and captured. On to new business or anything else under old no, business? I don't anything uh, new business? We have a resolution 16-27 to rescind the previous approval of the order ending June 30th. Financial statements for MRDP 689 will have the program ending June 30th. Again, if I could just say uh, yeah. to the chair, um, because we got an additional $17,000, $18,000. We, we need to revise. So because it was previously approved for less money, we need to now approve it with the additional revenue received. So uh, resolution 16-27 rescinds the previous approval of 689C4. I'll make, it, I'll make the motion to approve it. So 16-27. Second. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Launch resolution 16-28 to accept and certify the revised quarter ending June 30th financial statements for the MRPP 689. I make a motion to accept and certify the revised quarter ending financial statements. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 16-29 to accept and certify the revised year ends June 30, 2016 financial statements for MRPP 689 and 400 programs. I'll make that motion to approve resolution 16-29. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 1630 is uh, you know the direct deposit administrator to authorize the addition the section 8 coordinator to be able to do the uh, Bank to bank automated half payments in addition to doing the, the check payments. Do I have a motion to authorize additional uses on the local test accounts? Uh, I make a motion. So, additional users meaning only the one that's listed there? Maybe Correct. It doesn't now, right? Yep. There's no, a, there are others, Anne Marie. What'd she say, Mary? Mary, Anne, every time she says, Mary. And I made it a point in my mind because I've been calling my staff and put some housing Anne Marie, and I said, okay, I'm going to just reverse them. Yeah. Okay. So Lynn is in addition, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you make the motion? Yes. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're on to resolution 16-31 to approve the job for the fiscal year 2017 fair market grants as the new cut pro housing authority payment standards. I make a motion to approve and adopt the new fair market grants fiscal year 17. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then uh, 16, oh, I'm sorry, 1632 again is the capital improvement work plan uh, increase that we got of an additional 182,000. I'll make that motion to approve 16-32. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then um, again, the, uh, at the request of John Jubilo, um, 
in order to complete the roof project this calendar year, uh, has asked that we have the design and contract admin proposal uh, be done by uh, Rick Mahoney. We don't need a motel. We don't need a motel. No, it's the new one. Oh. It's on, it's on that one. Yeah. Okay. I make a motion to accept the design and contract administration proposal for the roof project to make well. Okay. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I just ask what the status is on the uh, rock and trust piece of mirror? And, um, Judy signs what she needs to sign for that? Yeah, uh, I took care of it before. We had a previous meeting. The board has uh, signed new signature pads and everything. So yes. in between the meetings, we're trying to just facilitate getting that done. And because of uh, um, there was like an error in the locations of signatures, so we just had to take care of it. When Judy went to the bank to get it done, she needed to do one part in person. The bank knows everybody that else that's on the board. Um, Judy went, and while she was there, they noticed it and asked that I get uh, Jim's signature in a couple of spots. And so I got the information back from Judy. Jim just signed it tonight. So okay. now that I can get that over to the to the bank, and assuming there's nothing else that needed to be signed or initial, we'll have a new signature card on file so that we'll have full board of signatories for checks out. So that will make life a lot easier, you know, running all around. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be tired. And it's crazy. They're tired. Everybody gives them. Every time. Every time, if someone comes off, one person comes off, or one person goes on, that means everybody has to do it. That means you do it every year. Yeah, every year you have to do it. I guess it's probably just... Insurance. That, every year? Yeah. Well, only when there's a change. There has there wasn't a change for a few years. Yeah. So I don't think you guys had to do it. Yeah. We had the same numbers. It's really good, actually. And then Greg left and came back. And they were on the. No, it's pretty solid. And some of the agencies, you guys are all. In the the sign checks. That's helpful, but take some slack off of you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm assigning them all, aren't I? You're doing a lot of signing. Yeah. Your wrist is in great shape. It's not too bad except for the first section eights. The yeah. section eights. That's and that's another thing that we'll talk about. Yeah. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. All right. So. Are we done? Anybody else have any new business to come before? Sure. We'll the date for next month so I can just write it down here. Yeah, remember what that was. Second Tuesday. Is the first one uh, Columbus Day? Yes. Yeah. We are no, the second. Monday. I mean, the, the second I mean, Monday. The, second, the, the Monday. The day before. So it's the day after Columbus. October. Is that a problem for anybody? No. Okay. Uh, so what is it after October fourth? Uh, October eleventh. Second Tuesday, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, October fourteenth, you said. Eleven. Eleven. Okay for you? Yeah. All right, so we'll do it that day. There's no more business before the board. I will ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Seconded. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Right. Aye. Good Aye. job, folks. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Before we go, yeah, I need signatures. You see green there, Jim. Turn to it, please.